While more and more people are rediscovering the joy and health tied to legacy gardens, this vertical garden at UM's Lomason Center may be the future for your gardening or your dining room table. What the university is doing with this project is kind of a, a, a prototype of what can be. And the, because of their sustainability efforts and, and because of their commitment to local food, they really want to be kind of a beacon of, of what can be done. Vertical gardens are exploding now as mankind looks to grow more and less space, cutting transportation costs and countering the impacts of climate change. In the next five years, they expect indoor ag to be up about a $20 billion industry in the United States. And, and China right now, one-fourth of their food is grown indoors. So, uh, and, and the reason we're looking at this even more is because of the ability to do climate control growing. And if there's a, a, a weather issue, a, a hailstorm or a, a, a snap freeze like we've been seeing a lot of these little vortexes, that can really wipe out a farm. Purnell has developed a completely self-contained system using aquaponics. A tank with perch creates nutrients and useful bacteria, which is then cycled through towers, where plants like lettuce, chard, and bok choy benefit from the rich drip irrigation. This is a living system, so we've got, we've got multiple forms of life in here. We've got the fish, we've got bacteria, we've got plants. All those things are important to keep the system going because it recycles. But vertical gardens aren't just about growing big. I got my start uh, doing a 10-gallon fish tank. And if somebody has had success with growing fish, uh, aquaponics is a pretty easy step, at least on the smaller scale. When you start getting a little bit larger, um, it's, you, you have to pay a lot of attention to more factors, that the, the, the factors scale up. One of the things that we have issues with here in Missoula, Montana, is, is hard water. And that high pH is something that, that people have to combat um, in, in an aquaponic system. But once, once you're there and you've established it and you've got that sweet water, it's, it's just a matter of, of keeping tabs on it. Installation costs vary, but breakthroughs like efficient LED lights make indoor growing not only feasible, but efficient. Brunel's latest installation will have 40 towers in just 100 square feet. He estimates that will produce 20 to 25 pounds of food per week. Once you're dealing with, with really a, a biosystem, this, this is a little ecosystem kind of self-contained, it, it really gives you an appreciation to our, to our ecosystem that's self-contained here on the planet. And that's really what it will take to save the planet in the vertical garden city. Dennis Bragg, MTN News.